Yeah, we're ready. ready. Alright, so Ptolemy's <laughs> theorem says this quad is cyclic if and only if the product of diagonals equals the sum of the products of the opposite sides. Yeah? Okay. Isn't that just trick bash? No. No, no, no. When you say it's something. Like... It's just. <laughs> yeah, but like, but you have. But you don't necessarily get any understanding from this. Exactly. But okay, and then this thing called Ptolemy's inequality, okay? So Ptolemy's inequality. What does it mean? What is it and what does it mean? So it's it's cyclic. So Ptolemy's inequality is AC times BD is always greater than or equal to AB CD. Actually, is it the other way around? Wait, is it? I think it's the, the other way around. Yeah, it's, it's the other way around. Well, we can check it when we prove it. Check when we prove it. Like that proves like A is in the circle. So, so this is with equality when cyclic, yeah? Okay. That makes hey. sense? Okay, sure. <laughs> so it's a strengthening of the theorem. Okay? In particular, it strengthens the converse. Yeah. Okay? So if it's cyclic, then it's equal. So here, if it's e if it's equal, it's cyclic, right? Yeah. But if it's not equal, it's not cyclic, and if it's not cyclic, it's not equal, right? But 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 it all tells you that it's not equal in a particular way. It's it's it's, it's a one direction. It's not it's not just not equal. You one of them is always bigger than the other. Okay. Okay. So if you if you joined us last year, we would have proved this using the Simpsons line, okay? Okay, but since we're not last year, we're this year. We we'll prove it. Are we? Okay. Huh? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, so we need to. No, no, don't say yeah. Yeah, we'll prove it using inversion. Yeah. Oh, wow. oh. similar training. Yeah. Okay. Can I just remind you of a lemma? If you if you if you can't do this yourself. We're in trouble. Okay, so lemma with inversion, okay? So if you have a segment AB, right? And you take its inversion, yeah? So you take the inversion of AB. The length, yeah? Is equal not to the old length, because some weird stuff happened, right? But you have to times it by the radius squared, and you have to divide it by OA times OB. Yeah? Oh my god, okay. I thought that was the definition. What? No, no, the definition is this. Oh, wait. The wait, definition is, is OP what? times OP prime times R squared. Alright, good. Yeah. Isn't that, uh, like... But well, you could have, like, seen the whole proof and you're like, oh, I thought that was so trivial, it's just the definition. Oh, no, I mean, this is, I'm not just going to say it's trivial, but, like, the, basically, what, what happens is when you take inverse line, it either goes, like, Either it's still on the same similar triangle, same mm -hmm. like pencil of similar triangles. Yeah. From stretching from the origin to A B to A dash B dash. Mm -hmm. Like so, um, all it's gonna do is either dilate it or contract it or something, and that factor is gonna be R squared O or O A O B. Yeah, I guess we can see this pretty simply. So we have a circle of inversion O, right? Yeah. And we take P or A in this case and B to B prime A prime, yeah? Make sense? Yes. And remember the the triangles are similar. Oh yeah? O O A B is similar to O B prime A prime. Because the angle is common and you have the ratios. Yeah. Okay. So that means the third side is also the same ratio, right? So what's the third side? It's A B on A prime B prime, yeah? Yeah. And that's gonna be okay. awesome. and the ratio is to O A it's it's equal to um A times right. Oh let me write it the other way so I can get the answer <laughs> quicker. Let me just write upside down, yeah? A prime B prime on A B. Yeah? So the bigger one on the smaller one. So then it's O A prime O A prime on O B. Yeah? Yeah. Okay, so it's it's not quite it's reversed, yeah. Yeah. This big side goes to that small side. Okay, and then, oh. and then 
and so and then O A twelve equals R squared O A. Yeah, and yes, yeah. Yeah, we did this on briefly or something. It was, oh, you still remember? That's amazing. <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah, this last even I don't remember. remember. <laughs> yeah, I'm kind of testing what you remember. Yeah, just, did this last year with like coordinate? I know, but people might not know it, and it's not that hard, and it's very, very important. Okay. Like, you see, O A prime is equal to R squared on O A, right? Yeah. So it's R squared on O A times O B. Yeah. Mm. See. The OB is there, right? Very soft. The AB goes to the top. It's here, right? Wait. Sorry, I was following until A prime, B prime over A. A B that part. You got this part, yeah? Oh, Just yeah. cross, put, put AB on here, yeah? Oh, yeah. yeah. So that's that, AB, yeah? Yeah. The OB is already down the bottom. Yeah. Then OA prime is just, just R squared on OA. Oh, yeah. So then it's like that. Oh, okay. And that's the theorem. That's the lemma, yeah? Yeah. Let's go. Okay. This is worth standing up for. <gasps> it's time. How hot is it? Like? What? What? Like, <laughs> no, I mean like how hot is like the carpet? You're rubbing it so much. Like oh, no, the no. hell? My body heat is really that Wow, my, my stream <laughs> just went off the line. What? Oh yeah, the auto cord, the internet atom just broke. It did? Like, Why? I think everything, like, there was a I'm black scared that you might get a carpet burn. Like, <laughs> what? No, yeah, the internet, I think the electrolytes you just cut off just then, so like the lights, the TV. Wait, like temporarily? Yeah, like for two seconds. <laughs> wait, 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 is this on now? Yeah, it's on now. So the Wi-Fi might need to reboot for a bit. What? Wait, are you sure it's on? Oh, I'm dizzy. <laughs> wait, let's have a look at the Wi-Fi. How much did you like? No, I didn't know. I just naturally. How much? How much? How much did you like? Double oh, down on it, like with the friction. The sound of the friction. It's kind of annoying. Can't we just do body heat? That doesn't make sense. What's up? Oh. Yeah. Don't like just jumping around. So you can do it. Yeah. 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 None of us, none of our Wi Fi is working. My data's not even working, so like, one Wi Fi is kind of working. Like, my data's like one bar three G. Oh, it's back, it's back. Wait, my Wi Fi is not working. Oh, it's off again. What? Oh, it's back, it's back. What is that? It says no internet. It's back. Alright, guys, don't move. It's working. Alright, watch this. Oh, yeah, can we get some orange? Watch this. Next time, yeah? Oh, wait, I'm gonna get a drink. Watch this. Let me get some water. Okay. okay. So, guys, remember when we were talking about inversion? Yeah, just then. <laughs> remember? I remember. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember. We're actually gonna get like a low yeah, temperature yeah. button. Alright, okay, remember when we were talking about inversion, right? Yeah. The circle of inversion actually doesn't matter that much, it's more the center that's important, right? Yeah. You're on the yeah. center of that, so it becomes a lot. So let's make D the center, yeah? Oh, D the center. Yeah? D. What? <laughs> Watch oh it. God. Okay, yes, I am down. Oh, oh. Can't do that. Okay, and imagine the circle of inversion is like here, yeah? Oh my goodness. Oh, dear. Oh, good. Yeah. So the circle inversion is somewhere here, yeah? Yeah, somewhere. So, see the circle passes through the O, so it turns into a line, right? right. Oh, yeah. radical axes. Wow. Oh crap, the C doesn't line up as well, so I'm gonna... Wait, why doesn't... Okay. Oh, it goes through the line. Right, it goes through the line. So this is A prime, B prime, C prime, yeah? And we use the lemma. You see? Yeah. So the point is, right, because it's a lot, okay, so if it's, it's a, if it's a circle, right, 
This is a straight line, yeah? If it's not a circle, this is like a triangle. Oh. Yeah? Yeah. It's just three random points, yeah? Oh, no. oh, so it's basically like the Simpsons? Trian yeah, it's like there's a triangle inequality. That's what this is. The Simpsons. So, oh, no. so basically, right. if it's not a circle, you get an inequality because you get the triangle inequality, right? Yeah. Oh. If it is a circle, it's an equality because you get this segment plus this segment is the whole segment, yeah? yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, so let's write it out. Oh, so so what, if this is, this is oh. A... So you cancel all the R squares. A prime B prime plus B prime C prime equals A prime C prime, yeah? Yes. Yeah. See, all the good students say the same thing, huh? Yes. I think yes. also and the rest cancel of the, the R squares. And the rest of the people oh, say yes. Oh, yeah. Hi, Hug. Hi, Hi, Big. Okay. okay. So, we'll have, so that's what we get, right? Or if you want to be really, you know, you want to get two things with one go, you can write, you can write inequality with... With with a equality if it's a circle, yeah. You do both at the same time. Yeah, obviously three of them are on a circle. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, so so a prime b prime by the lemma is r squared a b on o a o b. Right. Wait, that's so genius. D a plus, d b. Yeah. Plus r squared b c on b b c. A, B, 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 C, and then that's larger than or equal to the R squared. And then times by D, B, D, A, B, C. Dab. Wait, what? I thought it's not dab. D, A. So you get rid of the R squares, right? Yeah. 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 And then you times by D, A, D, B, B, C, and you get that. Yeah. Yeah. You get whatever. Multiply by common denominator. It's just algebra. Yeah. It also <laughs> happens to be the, what you what you want it to be as well, right? Wow. You multiply by. Have you seen this one before? Yeah. You multiply huh? by. Well, I just. D A D B D C on R. Oh, you just did just then. Yeah. yeah. But it's new to you today. Ah, uh, maybe I've seen. It, I forgot about. It. Oh. <laughs> Disappointing. So that's I remember you said something about, like the orientation, oh. like. Yeah. What? A B. Or if you take it in like a different way. C D plus. So you times everything by D A D B D C, right? On both sides. Yeah. Yeah. You see it? Maybe some C D. And then you get B C times A D squared times A D times B D. B D. Yeah. Yeah. Proof by inversion. Wow. Makes sense. Inversion Better than trick by. <laughs> oh, in the test it's called inversion bash. So that's Ptolemy's inequality, right? Yeah. yeah. Um. Wait, how do you pronounce that? Ptolemy. Because Ptolemy. 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 the P is silent. Yeah. Yeah. King Ptolemy. Yeah. Ptolemy. Why do you. Like, bro, how do you. Why do you know when Ptolemy goes to battle? Wait, right. um, this, I, I do notice like a slight problem. Yes. Like a slight yeah, issue yeah. is that <laughs> when you have like the inequality, right? Yeah, I don't get it. So the thing yeah, is, is that lemma is only in a tiny group. Only tiny group. Three point nine. Because like when you don't have that, so uh, yeah, 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 yeah. that's still true. Yeah, yeah. What? Well, like when you don't have like the circle, when for the inequality yeah. part, it's yeah. not on the circle. Wait, when does this thing end? So the lemma is still true, right? Yeah, so when it's not on when when it's not a circle, right? You get a triangle. So you get A prime B prime plus B prime C prime is bigger than A prime A prime C prime. Oh, so that in a that like lemma doesn't actually depend on A B being like collinear or anything. It's just any two. Yeah. Oh, I thought the way you drew it. Oh, the way you drew it looks like it has to be like some kind. It has to be like. Yeah, I mean, B could even be out here, right? So you got to be aware of these different possibilities yeah. as well. See? And that, that also works. So that still, still holds. Yeah. It's kind of It's very nice. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Yeah. So this is actually, like, I mean, this is something that's cool on its own, but it's actually also important in the theory of inversion. Okay? So if you look at this... Inversion mesh. 